And thank you. And once you pick up your new furry friend, maybe you're looking to give them a bath. Well, did you know that Tractor Supply Company actually has a pet washing station? And there's so much more that you don't even realize. And here to share is uh, Christina Avila, who we'd like to welcome back. She's the assistant manager from the Tractor Supply Company Fresno location, along with Kim Bradley with Paws for Safety, a big part of the Clear for Shelters. Welcome back. Thank you Good to have back. you here, Kim. Thank you. All right, we're getting to the day. We're getting we to the day. Tell us about the event. So we're going to have, I believe, Tiny Paws pug rescue uh -huh. mm -hmm. there and they're gonna have different little puggies and small small breeds they're available for adoption and they're gonna be there at the tractor supply in company fresno. in fresno mm -hmm. okay wonderful yes and so tell me can, what, how you play a part in all of this Boy. Pause for safety. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Um, well, we've been out at Tractor Supplies location several times, mm -hmm. and basically what we do is help people with their pets. Mm -hmm. So we'll be out there tomorrow um, if people have concerns, um, such as if they're adopting one of the little pugs that's yeah. going to be out there. Yeah. We'll be out there to help them um, look at some of the special health issues, for example, that possibly a pug might bring to a home with them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some things to look out for. Um, also, some things that they can do to ward off situations with their animal, like when to know to take their pet to the vet and when they can self-treat at home. Things of that nature, things that they should have on hand. What a great yeah. service. Yeah. And speaking of having things on hand, you have pretty much everything a pet lover and oh, yeah. owner needs. Yes, correct. we do. We do. Tell me more about that. We have uh, flea and tick medications. We do have ointments for dogs for, you know, if they do get a little scrape, you can put the little ointment yeah. on. We do have doggy aspirin, oh, which I didn't even I know love. that existed, Christine. <laughs> and, and you also have a pet washing station, which I think is we fantastic do. because a lot of people either maybe they don't have bathtubs or I mean, where do you wash your dog? Oh, uh, yeah. Who can use it? Can anyone just come in and use it or how does Anybody it work? Anybody can come in and use it. It's a walk-in availability. Mm -hmm. So just come up to the front register, let them know, hey, I'm here for the dog wash. Mm -hmm. You'll pay the $10. We'll give you your towel. We'll walk you over and you can use the facilities. There's wow. shampoos, a blow dryer, apron, oh, brushes, so cool. and everything's available for you and then we'll clean up the mess. Oh, so well that's not even nicer. Yeah. Even nicer. Kim, what do you have there? What do you have there um, that you want to display? I have one of our first aid kits here. Okay. Let okay. me let you see, Alex. Yeah. Here's one of our, it's a premium pet first aid kit. All right. I'm going to put it this yeah. way so the camera can take a good shot of it. What yeah. is in it? Okay, so this one here it's actually my personal one that I carry, and if this gives you any idea yeah. as to what's in it, absolutely everything you could possibly need for your pet. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Everything included is human grade, okay. so it can be used for yourself as well. Oh, wow. Comes with this really neat um, first aid reference guide. Mm -hmm. So when you get our first aid kits, we give a free first aid class with every purchase. Okay. Wow. We find that it's extremely important. People will um, purchase or get a first aid kit, but they never open it. Oh, they don't know what's in it and how to use it. So yeah. we really encourage people, pop it open, pop it open now. Let's get in there and see what's there and how to use it. So you will be at uh, the, we will be out at there the tractor tomorrow. supply company uh -huh. tomorrow at the Fresno location. Yes. yes. And I, when you get there, you can obviously pick up a lot of books and old-fashioned candy yep. and toys. You you promised to I bring promised some and candy. you follow through I on did. that promise. So not only can you get all of the pet products, but you can get all of this great stuff over yes. there, can't you? You can. And you can get a puppy. And remember, <laughs> they're also looking for donations, everybody. So yes. if you maybe cannot adopt a puppy tomorrow, you can always buy mm -hmm. stuff they need. Yes. Like you could get um, dog beds, canned food, toys. Yeah. Um, the shampoos for the shelters, um, just different things, you know, everyday items that you think are little that the, yeah. the shelters might not need, but they and honestly, they do. Yeah. They do need it. What time tomorrow? Tomorrow at 9. 9 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. That's what time, Kim, you'll be there mm -hmm. as well. It's we going to be a fun day. It is. Thank you both so very much for being here and for being part of Clear the Shelters. Appreciate it. Thank Great. you for having us. Thank you. Don't go anywhere, folks, because up next, boy, do we have a treat for you. How a local restaurant is paying tribute to the King of Pop on what would have been his 60th 